Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform the modal analysis of an impeller and we are going to find out the critical speeds and the mode shapes. First open ANSYS workbench. In the left side, you can see various analysis system. I am going to pick the modal analysis. I am not changing the material, so directly I am choosing geometry and I am going to import the geometry. Go to import geometry, select browse and I am importing the propeller as an IGS file. Next click the model and choose edit. First I am going to mesh it, so click the mesh, right click on that and generate mesh. Now we can see the entire structure is discretized into small elements. Next I am choosing analysis settings. So here I am going to choose the maximum number of nodes we required. So it is already defined as 6. Define the boundary conditions. So right click on the model, click insert and choose remote displacement. First I am going to choose uh, the geometry. So choose control and select these two edges and click apply. Now the x displacement is 0, y displacement is also 0, then the z is 0 and in rotation, rotation about x and y is 0 and it is allowed to rotate freely um, along the z direction. So rotation along x and y is 0. Now go to solution and click solve. Now the solution is done and you can see the critical speeds of the impeller in the tabular data. To view the result I am going to insert deformation. So we have generated six mode shapes. So I am inserting six deformations. So this is for mode 1 and this is for mode 2 and this is for mode 3. Similarly mode 4, mode 5 and mode 6. Right click on the solution and select evaluate all results. So choose total deformation 1 and this is the maximum deformation. So if you want to animate it, you can do that. Similarly for node 2, then for node 3. So similarly you can Visualize the maximum defo deformation for all the six nodes. Thank you.